All right, we are back. In this video, we're gonna go over some defeated animations and a boss battle. All right, let's take a look at what that's gonna look like. So we're going to have a boss come in and fire a couple bullets at our spaceship. And then we are going to have a shooting power-up that allows the spaceship to shoot the boss. We're gonna give the boss a health of 10 and we are going to keep fighting the boss until the boss is defeated. So we have a couple power-ups here to help our shooting speed. And we've got some animations on the asteroids, defeated animation, and it's looking good. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm going to go into my first two scenes and I'm actually going to just delete my scenes completely because on this video, I really wanna focus on the boss battle. Next, I'm gonna go up to the corner here. I'm gonna to go to my objects. I'm going to click on asteroid one. This is going to open up the menu over here on the right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edit button here on the defeated animation. This is going to open up the animation editor window here in the middle, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small asteroids, which are asteroid two and asteroid four, and I'm going to bring them in as a defeated animation. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the preset to a decoration. I'm going to change the linear velocity here from zero to 25, and 25 and 25. And just so you know, this linear velocity box here under the movement section, this first box here is for the X direction, the second box here is for the Y direction, and the angular velocity is for the rotation and spin on the object. These little tilde sign right here is the randomizer. So this is going to pick out a linear velocity between positive 25 and negative 25. So what's going to happen here is each one of these little pieces of debris is going to go firing off in a different direction and have a different rotation slightly. Once we've got the numbers dialed in, we're going to add a spawner component. So I'm gonna click on add component and I'm gonna select spawner and then I'm gonna change the number from one to 999. This is going to spawn a new piece of debris every 999 seconds because we only want it to spawn once. So I'm going to press W, D, S, or A on my keyboard and make a little group of debris and they've all got the same settings and so now when we blow up asteroid one, it should go firing off into a bunch of little asteroids. So I'm gonna use that same type of defeated animation for asteroid three, five, six, and seven and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward that part so that's gonna be done. Okay, great, now that's done. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete these little tiny asteroids. I'm only gonna work with the big asteroids and I'm using these little asteroids for the defeated animation anyways. So I'm going to kind of stretch these out and then I'm going to start preparing this third scene here for the boss battle. So I'm gonna move this down here and I'm going to stretch this way up and I think I'm gonna to need to stretch up my background as well. You can see there that it gets cut off. And I'm going to grab my background, unlock it. I'm gonna stretch it all the way up and stretch it actually just a little bit more just in case I wanna extend this scene. I'm gonna lock it back up and I'm going to go ahead and spread out some of these asteroids here. Oops, spun it around a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to try and disperse these asteroids a little bit more evenly. We're probably gonna add in a couple extra at some point. And then I think I'm ready to go ahead and start throwing in my power up. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put in a power up here near the bottom. So I'm going to drag in my power up. So I'm gonna drag it in as an action. Great, I'm going to recenter it right here and I think that's good. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a character bullet. I'm gonna drag it in as an object. Great, so now I'm going to take this little bullet and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna change the preset from platform to character bullet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command X on my keyboard and I'm going to cut that bullet out. So I'm gonna go up to the top left, I'm gonna select my actions and then I'm gonna click on my shooting power up. Now I'm going to drag in my shooting animation for my action animation. I'm gonna keep the animation placement over the character and I'm gonna keep the animation behavior as overlay. And then I'm going to click the edit button here this is gonna open up the animation editor window in the middle and I'm going to hit Command V to paste in my little character bullet. And there it is up at the top. Sometimes you have to zoom out to grab it. And let's go ahead and move it back here and I'm gonna move it underneath my character. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to change the velocity from 20 in the X direction to 120 in the Y direction. And then I'm going to add a component, I'm gonna add a spawning component, and I'm going to change the spawn rate to 0.8. I'm gonna take my character bullet now and I'm gonna hit Command and then the left bracket to move it underneath the spaceship. 
and then I'm going to exit out of my animation editor. I'm going to change the duration of this power up from one second to 10 seconds. Great. Now that we've got the power up working, let's go ahead and bring in our boss. So I'm going to bring in our boss as an object, and then I'm going to drag in a bullet for the boss as well. And I'm going to drag that in as an object. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving the boss over here into our scene. I'm going to take the little bullet that we just dragged in. I'm going to change the preset from platform to enemy bullet. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to add a spawner component. And then I'm going to change the linear velocity from negative 20 in the x direction to negative 20 in the y direction. Then I'm going to select my bullet and I'm going to hit command x. Then I'm going to go over here to my objects menu. I'm going to select my boss. And I'm going to go into the default animation. And I'm going to hit Command V and paste my bullet. The bullet's up here at the top. So I just need to select it and drag it down. And I'm going to place this underneath my boss real quick. So I'm going to place this underneath. I'm going to hit Command and then the left bracket to move it down. And then I'm going to exit out of my animation editor. While I'm working with my boss, I'm going to change the collision shape so that it was a little bit more accurate and there we go that looks pretty good so I'm gonna exit out of my shape editor here and I'm going to add in a defeated animation for this boss so I'm gonna drag in my defeated animation into the defeated animation box I'm also gonna go down to the bottom right and add some health I'm going to put in a taking damage animation in here and I'm going to give this boss a health of 10 now you can change this to a health of 30 you can change this to however much health that you want to give this boss but for right now we're just gonna use 10 and you know what, go back into the default animation and I think that the bullet rate is a little bit too fast. So I'm going to actually have a bullet fly every four seconds instead of one second. So I'm going to change the spawner rate on that bullet and then I'm going to exit out of my animation editor. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple transforms. So I'm going to minimize my objects menu. I'm going to open up my logic menu and I'm going to bring in a transform. I'm going to stretch my transform up nice and long, and I'm going to try to bring it in real close to the edge of the scene. I'm going to make it so the linear velocity modifier over here on the right is set to 18 in the x direction and 59 in the y direction, so that it's going to start moving up. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the affected asset to boss, and I'm going to change the operation to replace. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to select that transform. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to bring it over here to the other side. And this time, I'm going to change it to negative 18. Great. And then I'm going to bring in one more transform here. And I'm going to set it to, I'm going to set it to negative 18 and 59. I'm going to change the affected asset to boss and change the operation to replace. Great. And so when this boss comes in contact with the transform here, then it is going to start moving to the left here at an angle and then it's going to hit this one. It's going to start moving to the right at an angle. And it's going to keep doing that until it exits the scene or until you defeat the boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this boss a starting velocity of 59 in the y direction. And I'm going to give it a component. I'm going to give it a wake up component. And I'm going to make the wake up be distance based. And I'm going to give it a wake up distance of 700. OK, and let's make sure that the boss is set to enemy. And let's go ahead and test this out. OK, so the boss is firing bullets at us. We collect a little power up and we start firing bullets at the boss. And you know what? I think our bullets are moving a little bit too slowly. So I want to go ahead and speed that up a little bit. So I'm going to go over here to my actions. I'm going to select my power up. I'm going to go over here to my action animation. And I'm going to hold the command button down. I'm going to right click until I find the bullet underneath. I'm going to change the linear velocity from 120 to 160. And let's see if that works. So I'm going to exit out of this. And let's go ahead and test it out again. OK, great. Spaceship's moving forward. We collect our little power up. 
and the bullets are flying much faster. This makes it way, way easier. It's fine for the boss's bullets to move slowly, but we definitely want to have the character bullets move pretty fast. So I'm gonna make sure that I've got a couple other power-ups in this scene. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna hold the shift button down so I can just slide it directly straight up. And I think right about there is good. I'll add in a couple extra asteroids as well while I'm at it. We're gonna add in a couple minions as well. But for right now, let's add a couple asteroids. Copy paste, throw it over there. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna zoom out here and I think we're gonna want to extend the scene a little bit more. And I'm probably gonna extend the transforms up a little bit as well. These can kind of be in just the general area. You do want them right along the game edge so that it's bouncing right where you want it to left and right. Okay, great. One other thing I wanna do is I wanna go over to the shooting power up and I need to change the collision shape from polygon to circle. So I'm just gonna quickly do that and great. Okay, cool, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So I'm gonna press tap to play. I'm gonna get a couple bullets thrown at me by the boss. I'm going to strategically swipe over and get that power up. And then the battle is on. And you'll notice that sometimes I shoot a bullet and the bullet runs into the boss's bullet and so they just cancel each other out. So let's see if I can sneak it by. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Yeah, okay, cool. The boss has been defeated. Awesome, okay, cool. Okay, cool, so now we've got a complete boss battle, but let's say you wanted to add a couple other things to make it a little bit harder and add a little bit more variety to your boss battle. Well, one thing you can do is you can bring in a couple minions in there. So I can drop in a minion, I will change the preset to enemy, I will make the scale size a little bit smaller. I'm gonna do 0.8 and 0.8. And then what I'll do is I will take this little guy and I'll move him over here in the positive Y direction. I think it would be fun to move him in the positive Y direction just a little bit, maybe not as much. Well, obviously not as much as the other uh, boss because we want it to make it so that the ship can move past the minion. But let's also go ahead and add in a direction of negative 15 or something like that. And then what I'll do is I'll take this transform, I will press Command C and Command V on my keyboard and I will change the affected asset to minion. And then I'll change this to, I think it was 20 is what we had it at. Let's see here, let's see if it was 20 or I think it was 30. Let's see. And it was 20, okay cool. So let's go back and change that to 20. Great, and then I'll do the same thing over here. I will copy and paste it. I'll change the affected asset to minion and then I'll change this to 20 as well. And then now we should have a minion that is bouncing left and right. And we can go ahead and make a copy of this minion and paste it up here. Let's add an, an extra minion here at the top and let's change this one to positive 15. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at that. So now we've got this boss battle. We're gonna get the couple bullets flown at us and we're gonna grab the power up and start fighting the boss. And let's see here. And you're welcome to make the boss be a little bit closer to the ship or you're able to make the bullets fly faster, you make the whole scene go by faster. All of those settings can be changed and adjusted. Awesome, okay, cool. See, we added a couple minions, they were moving side to side, and I'm gonna exit out of this preview, but it is the exact same thing with minions as it is with bosses and asteroids or anything like that. You just add a transform to the side and then you can make them move back and forth across the way. So if you wanted to bounce asteroids all over the screen and make them move like crazy, then you can do that with the transform. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you thought this video was useful. If you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.